Mighty, Mighty Warriors! Let's get crafty! Hi everyone, welcome to the Mighty Warriors Craft Cabin. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Roman mosaic today. So you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, some glue, some coloured paper or bits of scrap paper, you're going to need a squarish piece of coloured paper or white paper or cardboard, whatever you've got is fine. And what I've got that I'm using as well is some sticky foam tiles. So they make a really nice picture if you've got any of those. But if not, what you can do is use little cut up pieces of paper. I'll show you what to do with that. Okay. So to make your little squares, they're going to be approximately one centimeter squared. So you can cut your paper into strips like so. And then if you put a few strips together, you can make lots of little squares at once by cutting them all at once.
Okay, so now you've got lots of mosaic tiles ready to go. Next, you're going to take your uh, piece of plain paper or cardboard and your ruler and pencil and you're going to measure and draw a frame around your picture. So if you measure just over one centimeter, so 1.2 centimeter I've used in from each of the edges and depending on how good you are at drawing lines you might need to do lots of dots or you might need to do not very many then join up the dots using a ruler and eventually you should have a frame on your paper that looks something like this okay next you're going to build the frame of your mosaic picture. So take some glue and put some glue on your paper or cardboard. Take your little tiles that have been cut up and start sticking them on. You can see the start of my mosaic border is there. Okay, once you've done that, next you want to draw a picture in the middle of your mosaic. I'm going to draw a fish. I'm drawing in pencil, but what I can do afterwards is I can go around the outline with black pen or a thicker pen if you have got it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick some mosaic tiles in my fish shape in the middle. Now it doesn't matter if your tiles are not exactly square because the Romans would have used different shaped tiles, whatever they had handy. And also you'll see that your fish shape is obviously not square. So it's going to take different sized tiles. You can see there, top of my fish and the bottom of my fish fin there, they need some different shaped tiles. So what I'm going to do is take one of my coloured tiles and cut it diagonally in half and then add it to my picture. As you can see, that makes the fin shape properly. So carry on filling in your picture with mosaic tiles. You can do lots of different colours and don't forget about drawing an eye. Now, you could use a different colour tile for that or you could use a black pen and just colour it in. Or you could stick on a button, for example, or a sequin or a pom-pom. Loads of ideas. Okay, so once you've done the shape of your fish, then you might want to take a black pen or another coloured pen and draw around the outline like so. Don't forget to give your fish a little mouth as well. Okay, so your filled in fish might look something like that. Then what you're going to do is fill in the space around the fish, which could be our sea or it could be our fish tank, who knows. So I'm going to take some cut up wrapping paper bits here and use those to fill in around the edge. Now I've chosen ones with bits of blue on, so they look a little bit like water, but you can choose any colours you want. Okay, so you carry on doing that. And then, or you could use these tiles that I've used for one of my mosaics. 
you just peel them off and stick them down. Like so. And again, you can cut them in half in different ways in order to nicely fill in any gaps you've got. So eventually, you can create a fish mosaic that looks something like this. There you go, you can see it's not done perfectly, but it doesn't matter because it looks cool anyway. Mighty, mighty warrior!